All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, SH Figure Arts uh, Vegeta figure, and uh, this is the brown box that it comes in. And then inside you have a uh, window box with uh, the figure Vegeta on the front, and on the back shows a couple of poses you could give him. A huge name Vegeta right there, and uh, something about uh, the SH Figure Art Vegeta. Welcome to read that. And uh, let's get him out of packaging. Alright, and here you, here we have uh, Vegeta outside of packaging. And uh, it comes with quite a lot of accessories. Uh, first we have a translucent stand. We have a couple of uh, fireball effects. And then a bunch of hands. And then this one, uh, he's uh, actually destroying his uh, uh, eyepiece communicator thing or no uh, whatever that thing is called I have no clue then uh, you have four faces you have one constipated face we have the angry face the neutral face and then the smirk and then you have a tail one that's just a regular tail and this one he has on right now is the wraparound tail and then the eyepiece and the uh, cross arms and then another hair piece. One is for you to put the communicator on, the other is just your generic hair piece. And it is very easy to switch out a face. All you have to do is pull out, the whole face will come off with a chunk of the hair. And then, see, there you go. Two pegs on top. And all you have to do is just switch out another one and uh, put it back on. To switch out a hand, all you have to do is pull it off of this ball joint right there. But uh, do be careful because uh, you can see half of it is attached to the plastic piece. Um, basically, let's see if I could point it out for you real quick. Uh, this, this ball joint right here is attached to this half of the, uh, the hinge joint. While this half is attached to the forearm. So when you pull the hand off, you gotta be careful. Because I always worry that this piece, this section right here, might break eventually. If you're switching out hands too often. But uh, so far I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, knock on wood. But uh, let's switch out hand. And here we have Vegeta getting ready to shoot a fireball. See, I put them on the stand, and uh, I do like these figures a lot. These SH Fig Arts uh, figures, they are great, uh, highly articulated, and uh, I do like how they're made out of uh, harder plastic instead of uh, Revotech, where their majority of stuff are made out of uh, softer plastic. Um, yeah, and uh, especially their uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z line. They're really, really good. They're definitely worth picking up too. Just look at that face. Looks exactly like how he looked uh, in the comics too. I mean, got those veins on his forehead. Really cool. I do like this armor a lot. All right, let's go over articulation real quick. Uh, head is on a ball hinge, and then shoulders is a hinge joint, and then inside there's a ball and socket joint going right to the uh, to his chest and then uh, bicep there's a swivel double jointed elbows and then ball hinge wrists and then uh, waist there's a ball joint but you have to lift up uh, his uh, body a little in order to do that and then uh, his legs are ball jointed and uh, also there's a swivel joint hidden in the legs and then double jointed knees and uh, ball hinge ankles and uh, toes articulation as well too. So quite a good amount of articulation points for this guy. And to remove his arms all you have to do is just yank it out. And there's a joint right there, the one right there. Let's give him the cross arms. And here's the best pose you could give Vegeta with his arms crossed. And his uh, his uh, uh, eyepiece right there. 
didn't stay on too well, so I used those uh, poster uh, uh, putty thing to keep it in place. Look at that face. That looks amazing. Definitely worth getting. And uh, yeah, great figure. Look at that. Perfect pose. And uh, let's see how tall he is. Alright, if you're counting tip of his hair, he stands about 6 inches in height. And uh, he's not a tall character, so don't expect him to be really tall either. And uh, let's do a comparison with another figure. Alright, and here's Vegeta standing next to quite a few figures. We have Goku from SH Figure Art. And we have the Green Ranger from SH Figure Art. And then we have a Spartan from Halo back there. And we have the Big Red from NECA. So as you can see, there's the height difference between Vegeta and all these other characters. But if you take the rest of them apart, just uh, stick with uh, um, 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 the Dragon Ball Z series. And they are perfectly to scale with one another. There's Goku screaming at Vegeta. And uh, yeah, great figure. I bought this uh, off uh, Ami. Uh, wait, is it yeah, Ami Ami? Ami Ami. Was it Ami? Uh, yeah, uh, Ami Ami or was it uh, Big Bad? No, I think I got this off Big Bad. Big Bad Toy Store for about 50 bucks. Uh, it is a small figure, but. Uh, I do recommend this guy if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan because uh, the articulation is really good. Uh, there are some loose joints, especially around the legs because uh, of the ball joints. Those are a little bit loose, uh, but given the sheer amount of accessories that he comes with, you could definitely give him a whole lot of cool poses out of this guy. So, uh, highly recommend this guy, and uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.